But man, Sean, like Street, Fighter, like Street Fighter is oh, the story. Man. Street Fighter 1. Ryu fights Sagat. He puts a scar on his chest because he uppercuts him. But with his, with his sure you can. Hey. Street Fighter 2. That's that's as much as we can do. Okay. We got a decent amount. Don't, don't, don't let Brian tell you otherwise. We got time. No, it could take, if he does special stages, it could take more we than 20 got minutes. Time. <laughs> Fine. Do, can you do the stage in less than 20 minutes? Uh, we can. Chip! You, 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 you can try. If you end up dying, we just stop it here. Mm. Yeah, just don't look for special rings for this one. That's, Fine. The, that's like the one problem I have with this stage. I can't really find any special rings in it, but it makes up for it with literally every other aspect. Hey, no, no, no. The second act is where the music's at. Just the stage in general. I love this level. I mean, it's Go like... Go for us, it's a, like, Japanese uh, castle that is also a garden that is a newspaper press, <laughs> which is covered in snow. Who thinks of this? Even though I am convinced that uh, this stage was actually, like, um, five a, different stages. If Knuckles gets hit while he's climbing and looking around, there's a clipping error in this stage where you will... Just skip to the end of it because you basically I am convinced, spawn out of the game. It's great. I am convinced the reason this stage is designed the way it is is because oh, they no. took like four completely unrelated <laughs> stages, put them all together so they could you can bounce. Yeah, you press mm -hmm. the jump button. <clears throat> Trying to skip stage it says fuck you stage. But uh, uncles can also climb. So. And then Street Fighter Two. Bison shows up, and then Bison's a thing, and Bison gets owned by Akuma, and almost oh, dies. Yeah. Most people get it owned by Akuma. Um, Unless they're Gil. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, Gil got owned by Akuma. Oh, Because oh. that was Gil's first death. So what I'm uh, hearing is Gil is bad. Um, for, uh, No, Akuma is OP. <laughs> he oh, is! Okay, so why OP is Akuma in... not the final boss of that game? OP in the context uh, of Street Fighter. Because, uh, uh, basically, um... Akuma has the raging demon. Here we go. And apparently, and nobody can block the raging demon. G Gil didn't block raging demon. Bison didn't block the raging demon. And the only person that blocked the raging demon was Jin. And Akuma was so angry about the fact that he blocked the raging demon that he ends up killing Jin. Can't seem to go this way then. My favorite fact about Akuma is the Satsurino Hara, I believe, translates to raging murder intent. Yeah. That's how evil Ryu is a thing. Because basically he has the Satsurino Hara, mm. and he has to learn to master it. But to master it for good instead of I evil, see that switch, like damn it! Game! To be honest, Akuma's story in Street Fighter V is literally that he beat. is literally you beating up Jin. Uh, you okay, beating up somebody they... else. Yeah. <laughs> you beating up Nakali, yeah, they, who they shows be, up and gets owned again. They can be finicky Stay on times. target. Stay on target. It's legit not working. They can be finicky at times. You have to time it well. I think it's based on the way you're moving. I, I don't know. I It's like the one part I don't like about the stage is that sometimes the conveyor belts don't work. Not at all. Are you pressing the jump button? Yes! I noticed a strange thing... Yeah, I noticed a strange thing. Know, right? Um, I noticed a strange thing was the uh um. There we go. But here's something weird I noticed about this uh, game was both the like springs like that and the drop dash. I can only get it to consistently work with the A button. If I jump and try to do it with B, it doesn't Wait. work. Wait, was gone. Yeah. Screw you, level. Yeah. And uh, oh. Kuma was in Tekken for some reason. Because not, Akuma uh, yeah, versus not only a was Kuma. He... Not only was he in Sean Tekken, will continue to say actually, that. He's, he's plot important of, to yeah, Tekken. He's apparently a part of Tekken's canon. He killed Jin's mother. That he did. Akuma versus A Kuma. And the Kuma would win. Hey. That Kuma. And then in Street Fighter, I understand that Kuma is one of the most broke fighters in Tekken. It is! And it's straight by Heiachi! Oh, well that, that is broke. <laughs> yes! And then Street Fighter 4... Because we, we skipped to 4, because 4 is the next part of the story. 
Now see, 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 at least in Blaze Blue, the story is What do you linear. mean? How many things do you know of have gone backwards? I'll, I'll, I'll answer the question for you, Star Wars. Uh, it, but no, that doesn't go. Okay. But no. That goes backwards. No, it doesn't, it doesn't, does, it, does it not go four, five, six, one, two, three? But does it? No, well, yeah, but, but you know what? Four is still part four. And five is still part five. And six is still part six. What you're telling me is part four is part two. Part four is part three. Well, um, that's the, see, that's the difference. That's actually, not, part four is only part three because part five well, is before is before three. When that's it comes only, to Star that's Wars, only the movies, Brian, the book was written, written in chronological order. Well, you what? want to know something? Someone should have made the movies in chronological order instead of being a dumbass. No, actually, or the maybe part... they realized the smart thing, and that was that people only care about four, five, and six, actually, not one, two, and three. <laughs> actually, the funny thing about Star Wars is in the original um showing of the movie, they removed the episode four title to not confuse people. That was only added later. Because they decided to do prequels, and then after making prequels, they had... To connect the continuity. And then we have the expanded universe. But you know, also, like I said before, have you not heard my rant on how do you do stories? When you have a story and your story gets to a point where you don't know where that story can go, you have one of two options. No, one of three options. You end it like a smart individual. <laughs> you go back before the, story, before the story begins and tell something that happened way before we get into the main plot. Or you go to the future somehow, and something else happens. Mm -hmm. So it just so happens that somehow somebody that wrote somebody that wrote Street Fighter Three looked at no no wrote Street Fighter Four looked at Street Fighter Three and said they didn't want any of those characters, and so they made Street Fighter Four as if it was after Street Fighter Three, and then they made Street Fighter Five and they said they want all of those characters, and then we have so oh, Street no. Fighter Five. Put four at the three position because Street Fighter Five wanted to be before three. And then we have Alpha, which is a prequel, like hey an man, actual. Full and you want to tell me the Zelda timeline doesn't make sense? It doesn't. It makes zero sense. The Zelda game takes place then. And the no, game takes place no, after that. It makes and zero sense. And all of these sense. Zelda games take place. What part of that makes no sense? Just because game four I think is it's three up. and three is four, is five. How is that like a big wow? Well, because in Blaze Blue, one is one, two is two, and three is three, and four is four. Yeah, but th three is three, and three has like six joke endings, which are also canon. No, they're not. They're not. I don't think they're because canon time canon. and because time travel and because apparently they're gods, which characters can just you know pop up in the god realm. Yeah. Well, I mean, some characters become gods. Here we go. And. Somebody's literally called the anime, the god killing sword. Anime. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, we, Brian. Woo! Like you I know said, what happens in part four? Yeah, but Brian, oh, when Blaze Blue starts up, you know as soon as you turn that game on, is there a question that Blaze, whether or not Blaze Blue is anime? No. And well, and see, at least you know what you're getting into. No. Oh, okay. Because I've I mean, had this discussion. I look at fairy tale and I say no. I look at Sword Art Online and I say no. <laughs> but man, anime. I look at what I look at. What is it called? Uh, what are you trying to think what of? Is it? Uh, I might know what you're. Crap. It's got like demons. That's a lot of anime. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That is a lot of anime. Uh, yeah, you're gonna be more specific. Uh, what does the main character look like? The head, the head, the the name of it escapes me right now. But what does the main character look like? I don't remember. Do you mean Bleach? I never, really, I never watched the episode of it. No, no he's. I never watched a single episode of the anime, mm. but I know that it was like a thing. And I and I remember staying away from it because I looked at it and I said no. Mm. Because there's anime that I look at and I literally say no because there's there, there's anime. Oh no. And then there's that anime and that anime is what I tried to stay away Nora? from. No. Not Nora? No. <clears throat> yeah. I was talking about. Yeah. When you say demons, yeah, that... I'm trying. I want to say Blue Exorcist, but uh, no one really cares no, about that. that. But no, not that. No one really cares about that one. Older? Newer? It's like recent, but not like recent recent. It's oh, like recent? Somewhere like somewhere along the lines of 2010. Oh, wow. Mm. Um, I have no idea, man. Maybe 2010, maybe 2009. 20, I mean, 09. <laughs> And I feel like I need to know. <laughs> 29. Oh no. Uh, has demons? What, what, what's with these demons? 
That's what I'm trying to. At least to... I believe it's about demons. I don't. I, hold on. Let me, let me see if I can jog my memory. Bro, oh, wait. Are you talking about Yokozura Quartet? No. I have no clue what that is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what We that have is. confused him. Have you ever seen uh, Yokozura you... Quartet? No. It's a great anime. Sounds bad. We don't, why, why would it be bad? Because it sounds bad. Why, why does it sound bad? Because that is a way of it was fuck title. What are you talking about? I don't know the English what the English name is. I don't think there is an English name. Because that is a Japanese as fuck name. Quartet? Would it? Quartet's an English word. No, the part before that. Oh, what? well, it's a Japanese word. Ah, what? Tokyo Ghoul. Oh! Oh, yeah. Tokyo Ghoul. That's an amazing anime. Oh, no. Oh, that's an amazing manga. <laughs> yeah, but I was about to say! You said it on recording! No, I didn't. I almost said it, and I corrected myself, because that's a terrible statement. Because that anime's garbage. That manga's great. Now, don't... How can the manga be great? Because all of the characters are dumbasses. Wait. Well, no. Because they aren't. Not in the manga. Literally, um, for uh, the past few episodes, the main character has basically like, been in commission because he's essentially been moping. Like I said, the anime changes everything. Important. So, does he get the centipede thing in the manga? Yes. Oh. But you know what he does in the manga after he gets that? What? He oh, becomes come a badass. On. Damn it! <laughs> no, that's why I don't. Well, no, because no, because that's, that's why I don't that, like it. That's literally what the boost gameplay is built on. That's why I don't like Adventure Two because it blindsides you with too much bullshit. If... Adventure Two is bad didn't, about he, he that. He didn't say they did it. He just said that it was a less prevalent because it. Oh, thank the oh, boost yeah. gameplay design has to do it. It has no choice because Sonic doesn't control as well in the boost games as he does in adventure games. He does when he's running straight. But if he's not running straight forward boosting, he does not control well. Do they make it easier for you to break out of the ice? I don't know. Or does Knuckles just naturally break out of it easier? Because unlike Sonic, he don't chuckle. It's, 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 there we go. Just I thought it was really good video 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 because he didn't sit. As far as I'm, he didn't sit there and have like Jeez. a biased opinion on either one of them. Woo! He just laid out the facts about the. You know, boost gameplay plays like this. That was the video that was like an hour, okay. right? It is designed like this, and here are the pitfalls and benefits that this kind of design has. Okay, guys. So my question of the day is... If you play Super Mario Odyssey, do you ever change the music when you're in the kingdoms, or do you leave the music be? If you change the music, what songs do you generally prefer to listen to? Most people seem to really love the vocal themes, and those seem to be the most common ones people change to, but a lot of people have other favorite songs that they enjoy so they'll occasionally change to those you can leave your thoughts opinions and answers in the comments below or you can leave them on social media all my social media links are in the video description now as always i need to be a shell for a minute if you liked my video please hit the like button and leave some comments if you're new to my channel and want to see more of my videos, please hit the subscription button and subscribe. If you're already subscribed, please ring the bell next to the subscription button. That gives you the proper notifications of whenever I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to follow me on social media. Doing all of these things really helps out the channel and it really helps our communities grow. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys next time.